What's going on, YouTube? It's Ready for Victory 22 coming back at you with another update video of MLB Top Sports 2020. Surprisingly, it isn't a weekend update video, it's a weekday update video. Tuesday. And I don't really play on Tuesday. This is the most points I ever accumulated on a Tuesday. Um, around about 10, 18 this morning, my supervisor um, instance messaged me, um, clock out and don't worry about coming in tomorrow. So when I saw that message, I was like, fire but then I thought about it it's the holidays and I just miscalculated my supposed to be holiday offs so um I was really supposed to be off today but I went in and within two hours of my shift which was supposed to be 10 hours my supervisor told me to clock out because I was supposed to be off for today and tomorrow, which would be Wednesday. And pretty much, I had the opportunity to play the game. So, my team plays six. I was battling with Scratch and Sniff. No lie, I was battling with them. You know, um, but, you know, they they overcame, you know, our club. But we gave them a tough battle and we made them play. So that's all that matters. As you can see, I scored um, $9 billion. Um, the... The um, setup of the brackets, I don't know why I always end up in the Gluminati bracket, so there's no chance of getting number one, but I feel like we're always, like, you know, around this area, so I feel like when they do put us in these tough brackets, we don't fold, you know, we, we stand tall and, you know, hold our ground as far as the mvp rankings i did place ninth i haven't placed in the top 10 in a hot minute because of the brackets but i guess i was playing a little bit harder than the uh people in the you know higher clubs in the higher brackets um, as you can see, um, you know, most of the people on here, like, let's just check out Let's Rock, 46, you know, Gluminati. So everybody is around me is pretty much with the, uh, top clubs that was, uh, above my club. And, um... Check out a couple of, couple of more. So we got, you know, four and a half star. They had a good uh, ranking. Seems like he played hard on a, a Tuesday. Um, as far as me, you know. Only thing that changed was uh, getting this Ron side. Getting the Ron side, I feel like I was lucky because I I didn't really spend any kind of money this uh, you know starting week, other than the field pass. So I already had some gold saved from the last you know event and the uh, walk off hero in which. You know, I, I like Walk Off Hero, but, you know, I'll be working 
Um, so I don't really produce as much as I can. But, you know, when I saw the raw side, I was like, that is the cleanest, most just blingest foil I ever seen. And it still is. I kind of compared it to the Nelson Cruz, um, you know, foil for the uh, moon kind of uh, box. And, um, you know, and I admit, like my uh, leader said, he was like, yeah, I, I remember that box. And he was he was like, uh, he just looked a little weird. And I was like, yeah, he did look a little gothly. Um, like he was like dead on that foil, but it was a clean ass foil. It just reminded me of the time when the, you know, Rangers was, um, could have won, um, you know, a championship, but they didn't win, you know, the world series that year and so disappointed. And then the next year, so disappointed again. Nothing much changed in in this section though. Um, team strength is what I'm working with with my second lineup, which I have all my starting crew, which is just nothing but foil and you know two AGG, um, you know hitters. I'm not tripping about not getting um, you know all time great pitchers because I never get to see them. But when you're working with a, you know, all-time great hitter, you get to see them. So, as far as uh, target bash, you know there was no way you can, um, you know, win this. Well, I know my club wasn't going to win this because six inside is always around, and whenever we face them, you know it. It's not going to be like a, a winning outcome. So, you know, I I don't get my hopes up in, in CVCs when it's a match like that. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the uh, store and see what was the offering. I didn't trade it in everything that was, uh, you know, pretty much pulled from the box because... I just wanted to clear up some lineup space. So we have the uh, box number two and the box number one. The percentage chance for two is 0.2% for all time great, but you can get a 4.7. Better odds for this one though 0 0.5 and point, you know, 1.2% um, chance for any kind of foil. I look at these as like, especially like if you have a, a point, um, what, three or a point four out of a, you know, thousand. I, I like to look at it as you have four blue marbles in a bucket with 996 red marbles and you have to pick out one of the four four blue marbles to actually pull that foil. So that's a better way of looking at it. One thing I liked about um it was I think it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. I did a video and um I forgot to mention on the pick'em. I was just so proud of myself because the pick'em was um, Gluminati would double or more the final points of Sparta. I checked out what the stats was. I, I don't think they're just going to waste gold. So I said, no. Tito's, which, uh, you know, Tito's red, red herring. You know, I've been seeing them a lot um, lately. Powerhouse crew was going to rank in the final top 10, they was number 11 behind Bob Dawson's. And then in front of Bob Dawson's, 
I don't think that team was going to let off. Only one team can obviously make it. Titos was number 11. They end up number 13 when it was all said and done. Great predictions. Um, the reason why I liked it because it actually activated this 1.2 multiplayer to club bonus points and prime events. So, you know, I, I get that little extra. And I wasn't expecting any kind of prime games to be for today. I was expecting bonus. But, you know, it had prime games for the day, even though, you know, we just finished a nice um, three day wrap up of uh, prime, you know, Royale event. Well, not Royale event, but just a prime event. But it lasted three days. So let's go ahead and get to our lineup. As far as the improvement section, nothing really much changed in that area. This is my lineup number two, but I'm going to get you to our lineup number one, which I was actually using during this event. But lineup number two, I'm going to just show you, you know, the foil setup that I'm using for this particular lineup and my substitutes. I'm debating switching in between Ernie Banks and my um, newly required uh, shortstop foil. And Smith, Smith, you know, he's doing good. But Ernie Bakes, he is, you know, he's an all-time all great, in my opinion, as shortstop. He's been my best short top, shortstop so far. And, you know, um, so, you know, this lineup is fucking sick with all the uh, foil action going on. And my inactives, I got rid of, uh, you know, all the players I didn't need. I need to skim down some more. And I'm going to tell you them players, I'm definitely probably going to skim down some more because I'm probably never going to use them. And getting rid of a, 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 a legend will probably come down a dozen. So I, as you saw... Daryl Porter is the first that is uh, on the selection. And uh, as we scroll down, I want to mention that uh, Cy, I, I boost him up 2020, but he wasn't really 2020 boost material. I feel like he wasn't producing the amount of the amount of work. I feel like you you can produce in. So Rob is overhyped. That's all I can say about that. Um, I don't want to get rid of this Chipper Jones, but I got a new Chipper Jones, and I just know. I need the space. And like I said, not getting rid of uh, any moon players. Don Baylor has to go. Reggie Jackson, he's hanging on by a limb. Just because I went in a little gold, I keep him around just for a little bit more. But as far as the players I just unlocked, I'm going to get rid of them. Frank White. Uh, I have some kind of connection with Frank White. Probably because of the name. But my last name ain't White. Bryce, I did, you know, cap him out just for the event. It's crucial when you're trying to figure out who you want to get rid of. You don't want to get rid of anybody, but when push comes to shove, you have to do what you have to do. I haven't used any of these guys. Eric, are they, you know, Snow. I'm going to eyeball them. That's 520. Definitely got to get rid of. 535, 
I'm just gonna let him tag. Hey, I pulled him from the uh just the players uh you know area where you can uh you know draw some some players you may have missed out of. This one would have been a walk-off hero of it, so only way you could have got him was a walk-off hero of it. Or you would have had to go to the uh, player's store. In which you can't get all these players. But I already have them. There's no need to, you know, want to. I right, can't wait to oh, Hunter Dozier pop up. It's probably not going to happen for some quite time. But, you know, this is just uh, lineup number two. Hate to, you know, get rid of these players. As far as pitchers, pitchers, I just always just, you know, cherish to have a pitcher in. So, nothing much changed here. I didn't add anybody. Uh, so, you know, it's the pitchers. Let's go ahead and get to lineup number one. We'll go ahead and activate this. Change up things. So we went lineup number one, 263. Lineup number one. This was what I was actually, you know, using during the event. So Steve Sachs, you know, didn't really uh, do much on the boost, but did cap him out, of course. And um, averages looking lovely. Home runs, as long as it's doubled the amount of Games played is looking great at bat and hit swell. Raw side. I think I called him Rob earlier, but Ron side. Truthfully, I never heard of this player, but the fool is awesome. Oh my, he picked up his stats. He picked up his stats. I was downplaying him earlier because he was in the 700s, but he picked up his stats that Point eight oh five. I don't look at stats or any of that. We're looking at the at it for the first time, you know, and everything since the event ended, you know. But I do check it out during the event just to get an idea. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He's producing. He's producing. Bryce. Oh, point seven four four. Not bad for a regular player. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doubled up. So he's looking good. Mike Trout. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't like fooling up with these uh, player of the week. Even though I do have, you know, great odds, but I do be hearing horror stories where they're just pulling everything else but a player. But I don't come across that, but... When I think in my mind, the only player I need for a set, which is completed, the only set I got, because sets wasn't really settable here. You had to have a wide Ford or, you know, ATG, you know, um, batter to, you know, actually activate the other sets. But Mike Trout, um, you know, I was glad to just use that 650 gold, one strike, one kill. And he didn't play too shabby. He got me some great, decent, you know, points. None of this was the points that I was accumulating last weekend. Not the 150 million. Everything was based around 20 to my highest was 54 um, um, million. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, not much uh, change when, when I actually put players in. I like to remind you, I did collect a lot of players, but I'm not going to waste Evo and all that on a day player because tomorrow is going to be a new day, a new dawn, and people is going to be feeling good. Let's go ahead and um, get rid of everybody I put up on the chalk and block. I hate to get rid of Mookie. Hate to get rid of this guy, Mookie Wilson. Played decent, but um, he's not doubled home runs as far as game played. 
So he has to go. Chipper, he's not doubled either. He played great, but I got a new chipper. Um, first legend um, catcher, he has to go. Um, Don Baylor, I like this um, profile and everything. You know, almost, you know, halfway doubled up. Hate to get rid of him, but they have to go. Got to get some points. I mean, some, you know, XP, no matter how it goes. Pennants, still working with some good pennants. Ooh, uh, I wish I had enough for, let me see, person, real person, real trout. Uh, that's just my first lineup. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, wait till things get going. But, um, yeah, um, let me see if I haven't checked out. Oh, this is on my birthday. Okay. Okay. Maybe my memory slipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. My memory slipped. But uh, people do compete hard in that. I'm just trying to think of any last things I might be missing out on. It's it's rare that I do a video during a weekday. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, my team's doing good. We had some new additions. And um, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving. Polly won't hear from me until, you know, the end of the weekend, if so. And um, y'all take care.